so when it comes to nifty 50 okay so when it comes to our index nifty 50 so from personal observations and like from understanding the markets with the help of different people like what we usually realize is that reliance okay reliance and bank nifty usually tends to act as a leading indicator so what do we mean by an indicator so indicator is nothing else but a tool that actually helps us the indicator is nothing else but a tool that actually helps us to understand what the markets are doing or what the markets could actually kind of do now when it comes to these two stocks uh, sorry not stocks like when it comes to the index uh, nifty 50 we usually consider reliance and bank nifty to be leading indicators okay so when i say reliance and bank nifty to be a leading indicator what i'm kind of trying to refer to or what i'm kind of trying to mean is usually let's say that uh, bank nifty has given an upside so what we realize is once bank nifty has given an upside move and let's say reliance is also giving an upside move then since bank nifty has a major banking stock has the major weightage in nifty so we can very well expect nifty to pick up along with bank nifty and reliance okay so bank nifty and nifty uh, sorry bank nifty and reliance are two things that you could basically track to kind of try to figure out what probably could happen with nifty okay so i just want to know sdfc bank definitely but sdfc bank as you all know doesn't usually give much of a move got it now that's why i'm not mentioning about sdfc okay that's the reason i'm not talking about sdfc right now now so uh, when it, when it comes to the case of uh, today's today's uh, situation itself so let's have a look what happened so two charts so nifty 50 we're taking nifty 50 and nifty bank So by the time Bank Nifty actually approached the day side, okay. So by the time, by that particular time, that Bank Nifty has actually approached the day side, our Nifty was actually uh, still at a support. That is this particular time. Okay. So at this particular time, when Nifty was actually at a very strong support. So this support we had actually marked yesterday itself. The reason for considering this to be a support region is due to the fact that the price has faced support at this particular point earlier, right? Now, today, when Bank Nifty was almost at the day's high, trying to pierce to the day's high, breaking the day's high, we were very well observing that Nifty is still holding good at the significant support. Now, along with that, we kind of saw that, okay, Reliance is actually picking up. Then probably, definitely, what could happen next is nothing else, but Nifty kind of picking up along with Bank Nifty and Reliance. Okay. So this was the major reason for my trade or a long position in the case of Nifty today. Now, what I personally expected was that, okay, if it is actually giving an upside move, definitely the price could kind of come up to the day's high. That is, uh, that is over here, the day's high. And by then, Bank Nifty had actually broken the day's high, it continued going up. Okay, so then one more reason was that, yeah, I was also looking at the global queues. I was actually looking at the global markets. Now, when it comes to the global markets, we are specifically talking about Dow Jones. Okay. So, when it comes to Dow Jones, like when we were tracking, yeah, Dow is up. Nifty, after having a gap up opening, it tried to fill the gap. Now, but uh, it was kind of finding lettings to fall below the significant support level. And it picked up from that point. So, this is one logic that you could kind of consider. That is considering that, okay, price is actually finding some sort of a significant support somewhere probably the price could pick up further okay so you could kind of see that earlier what was actually happening is okay so this way the other uh, stocks that we were kind of tracking yesterday now okay yeah so during the opening hours after gap up, usually like uh, I personally check out check out for gap filling moves. But today's scenario, the thing was that yeah, the entire markets, the global markets were all up. Bank Nifty was picking up, which has the major constitution in Nifty. So definitely going for a short position is not a good idea. But after some time, like after the first half an hour, what we kind of realize is Bank Nifty, as Nifty is actually finding a good support at this particular zone. Okay, that is like price is actually trying to pick up from this particular point. 
and uh, bank nifty is favoring this the global markets are up bank nifty is actually breaking the day's high and considering the very same i went for a long position at 11840 with a stop loss at 1822 okay now this was a good trade like this was a good uh, starting trade for me uh, for the week and uh, so this logic you all could basically consider just keep in mind yeah reliance and uh, bank nifty usually kind of tends to be leading okay so when i say leading so before nifty starts giving a move uh, we often see that reliance gives a move and bank nifty also gives a move so today reliance initially picked up then it came down just like it picked up just the way it picked up it came down also so okay. just keep that in mind reliance and bank nifty usually kind of moves much faster as compared to a uh, nifty okay. like they kind of tend to act as a leading indicator so indicator means i'm not talking about any moving average or rsi or something over here what i'm talking about two stocks or two, or two scripts that basically gives a move prior to nifty giving a move okay so i hope uh, you kind of have some take away from this got it thank you so i was capable of achieving a 1 is to 1.8 so 1.8 r was my returns in this trade that is 1.8 times of the risk that was involved in this position 